this is my bedroom stroke studio so I I got this fabrics. I got this fabrics and I want to use it to make one particular style a fitted tight dress so these fabrics are stretchy because i really want the dress to be fitted i don't know did i start this video right let's just go with it let's just go with the flow let me go with the flow welcome back to my channel i have been contemplating if i wanted to do this now because i actually want to make my wardrobe like i want to remake everything in my wardrobe and i've been saying this like since i think since last year yes i think i mentioned it on one video last year so i knew at one point in my life i was going to remake my wardrobe and i feel like i'm talking too much but yeah i'm going to talk too much because this is going to be like a detailed very detailed video where i make i remake my wardrobe and i'm starting from this okay so i got this fabrics i'm going to put them out of the leather or nylon so you can see it well so i got these fabrics for the purpose of making the dress the dresses like i think three i got three fabric not two i'm going to bring a third one wait hold on wait this is the third one and like i said it has to be stretchy so this stretches really well okay let's see okay so we're going to be making three tight dresses with one pattern but different sleeves and different neckline and each of them is like two two yards i think only one is one and a half yard okay because they are tight dresses we do, i don't need too much and the one that is one and a half is the one i'm going to be doing short sleeves with okay so like this one is going to be a long sleeve let me just show you guys how this fabrics look <laughs> buying these fabrics these are the things that i had to consider the first thing was it has to be crepe okay so i make sure that whatever i'm getting is crepe and the second thing was that very necessary they all have to stretch okay so i want to have like a lot of dresses that are just straight tight um bodycon yeah it's called bodycon i don't know what i was even saying i've always wanted to have those kind of dresses so i'm going to still make more but this is the first try i'm using this three i'm going to see if i like this if i like to wear a straight tight gown like very long if i don't like the vibe I'm, i'll just stop making it okay but if i like the vibe i'm going to go ahead and see if i can start you know incorporating styles into the straight tight gown did you get like let's just see the vibe okay so this is the beginning of my wardrobe let's get into it first of all we're going to start by creating the pattern of, of course you know that the pattern is the first thing we're going to start creating the pattern first and once we're done with the pattern we're going to sew okay so one pattern three dresses different sleeve different neckline and that's what we're doing okay so please don't forget to subscribe and like this video or like the set of videos that are going to be coming I like it okay Something again I wanted to bring to your attention is the fact that each of these fa fabric sideboards, the three of them, they have different um, stretch, like the stretch on them or on yeah, each of the fabrics is different. Okay, so when I make my pattern, I am going to make the pattern without allowance. Okay, because already we are working with stretchy fabric, so we don't need allowance on the pattern because it's stretchy okay now the next thing again is that i wanted to bring to your attention that since it is stretchy and the kind of stretch i have on my fabrics are different kind of stretch 
what we're going to do first is calculate the percentage of stretch we have on each of this pattern so before i am sewing in any of the fabrics i'm going to you know bring to your attention um the percentage of the stretch on the fabric and i'll show you how to calculate the percentage if you don't know how to calculate percentage on stretchy fabrics i just learned it too okay so yeah i feel like i should show you too so in case you get your own fabric and you don't know the amount or the percentage of stretch it has watch this this is for you okay so i'm going to bring to your attention the percentage of stretch i have on my fabric each of the fabrics if i sew and let's get into it properly okay let me stop let me stop being in your face so much like i do that a lot but <laughs> So because I'm making a very long dress, my pattern paper is too short. So what I have to do now is I have to tape two pattern paper together so I can get the length that I want for my dress. And I want a pretty long length. Okay, so you can go ahead and do this if you're working with a short pattern paper. Now the next thing we're going to do is mark a starting line on the pattern paper. It's not that... Here is my center front and this is the front pattern okay I'm going to start with the front pattern and so okay let's just fill the starting line first I'll mark one inch down as the starting line So this is the starting line and this is where my shoulder will be sitting. So the first thing I'll do is I'm going to divide my shoulder measurement by two. i mark it down here. So my shoulder measurement divided by two is 7.5. So I'm marking 7.5 here because it is 15 divided by two gives you 7.5. So divide your shoulder measurement by two. And mark it on top of your pattern the starting line here is the starting line okay so once you have that the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to mark 1.5 inch down as my slope okay here is my slope and this is 1.5 inch down so let me make sure it is still 7.5 when i calculate so yes here so this is my slope the next thing i'll do is i'm going to mark my neck width on this starting line here too so my neck width um you guys forgive me this is a long dress <laughs> so i'm doing this on the floor but i'm going to make sure that it is very clear and detailed okay so yeah i'll mark my neck width from here i'll come in by three inches So here is my three inches and this is my neck width neck so i'll connect my neck width to the slope like this okay this is it and now from this point i'll come down and i'll divide my armhole measurements by two my round armhole by two i'll mark it down from here now um you can do that or you can say your round bust divided by 4 minus 1.5 okay so let's use that so i'm going to say from here to here what i'll be marking is my round bust okay my round breast divided by 4 minus 1.5 inch now my round bust is 36 divided by 4 gives you 9 that's my round bust if i divide it by 4 i'll get 9 and when I minus 1.5 from 9, I get 7.5. Okay, so that's what I'll be marking from here down. That is going to be for my armhole, okay? So when I, I'll just make a slight dot here, 7.5. Why did I do that? Because I need to confirm that from here to here is also 7.5 that will mark on the shoulder. So I have to get it. Okay, so this is where that point is supposed to sit here. The 7.5, I divided my round bust. Um... And then minus 1.5. This is where it's supposed to be. 
okay so it has to be accurate okay it has to align just the way this aligns and this also aligns so i'll rule a straight line and also rule another line out here like this not so much okay so what i'm going to do is on this line here i'm going to place my tape and mark my bust points okay my bust point is 10 and you can see that i placed my tape from the starting line and i'm marking 10 inches okay see the starting line here so i didn't place it on the slope okay i placed it on the starting line okay so this is my bust points okay now the next thing i'm going to be marking is my waist point because we don't need um under bust this is a um it's a, a straightforward dress okay so i'm sweating mad the next thing i'm going to mark is my waist point and my waist point my front okay we're not going to be doing that front waist point back waist point okay i'm going to be marking my waist point on this dress at 17 inches both on the front and on the back okay because this this does not have that so we aren't doing that okay so i'm going to be marking 17 inches then from the starting line okay please take note of that starting line that is where i'm marking every point down from okay okay so um what i'm going to do is i'm going to edit this video for this dress and i'll also go live and we're going to draft the pattern together okay so that in case it turns out that the way i like the way i stayed while creating the pattern isn't clear on the life is going to be clear okay i'll just find a way to do it on my table so everybody understands so this is my waist point and i'm going to be marking my hip point for my shoulder my hip point for my shoulder is 25 or sometimes i use 24. okay so my hip point is 25. okay so one two three four my hip point is 25. I'm placing my tape from the starting line and I'm marking 25 inches down. You can do this or you can mark your hip point from your waist. It's up to you. But I'm marking my diary from my shoulder and I'm marking 25. And that is my hip point. So I was saying something about the life. So I'm going to be also um, going live to create a pattern. I I actually want everybody to have this pattern as if you're interested in having a dress like this you're going to be seeing the three outcome so you know this is the hip point i'm going to be using 50 i'm going to be using 59 as the length because i want it to be really long okay i'm going to be using 59 so 59 is what i'll be using as the length So this is the actual length from the starting line i'm going to mark my knee point 36 which is here this is the length okay so this is the length of the dress and i'm going to cut out the rest so the next thing we're going to do after that is work on the armhole and then we'll, we'll start dividing our round measurements by four okay so the first we're going to be doing like i said is the armhole so We'll find the middle point on the armhole place my tape here now to get your middle point 
you place your tip on the slope and down to the armhole line and then you fold your tip into two and the middle here is your middle point okay on my middle point i'm going to be marking 0 0.75 in so 0 0.75 inch i'm marking it in From the 0 0.75, I'm going to connect to this slope. And now, before I connect this down here, I'm going to mark my round bust divided by 4. I'm going to mark that here on the bust or on the armhole line. My round bust, like my, my round bust, like I said, is 36. Divided by 4 gives you 9. And if you don't know how to divide your measurements, like I have like a very detailed series that I just um, uploaded like recently, you could watch that and you're going to understand everything that has to do with measurements. You're going to understand everything that has to do with taking the measurements on your body, dividing it and all that. Okay. So all those goodies are waiting for you. And I'm going to connect from here to this point here with a curve. Okay. And here is my armhole so i'll bring this down here straight because this is the bust line and the next thing we're supposed to do is divide our round bust by four and mark that on the bust line so we already have that here on the armhole just take it down and now on my waist i'll divide my round waist by four and i'll mark this down on the waistline my round waist is 30 divided by four gives you 7.5 now when i'm dividing by four divide your own measurement by four please do not use my measurement okay unless we are of the same size if you look at me and you feel like my body and your body is the same okay you can use my measurement but if we're not of the same size please take your own body measurement and divide that okay so my my round waist divided by four gives you 7.5 and i'll connect this now to the bust line I'll move to my hip and this is my hip line. I'll divide my round hip by four. My round hip divided by four is 10.5 because it's 42 divided by four. So 42 divided by four gives you 10.5. And I'll connect from my hip line here to my waist. Now here we're supposed to, as when I had like, a ruler that connects like a curve ruler I would have connected it like this but then I don't have I'm going to make do of what I have and this goes like this so I can adjust because there are no sharp corners on your body okay all is curvy so I'm just gonna go in like this even here sir curvy okay so I'll move to my knee and what i marked on my hip is 10.5 right this is what i marked 10.5 i'm going to minus one inch from that I'm going to minus one inch so what i'll be marking on my um knee line is 9.5 okay so I'm, I'm just taking away one inch from that and remember i said i'm not adding allowance on I'm not adding allowance on this, okay? Because my fabric is stretchy. Now, if your fabric is not stretchy, add your allowance because you need it. Here to adjust. I'll move to the length. What I marked on... So sorry, this is this is my knee line. Yeah, this is the mistake. This is the one that was a mistake. Now, what I marked on my knee is 9.5. You see the reason why I need to go live again and do this pattern, right? Because I'm just doing this, I'm just going through like it's not like I've done it before. I don't think I've done it straight tight dress before on my channel. So yeah, I'm just 
going with the flow okay and hoping it comes out nice so here is 9.5 right that's what i marked on my knee and how did i get 9.5 i minus one inch from, and i marked the remainder like what it meant here and what i'll do is minus one inch from this measurement and mark it on the length so i marked 9.5 here i'm going to be minusing one so I'm, i'll be marking 8.5 on my length And for this, I need my long ruler. Okay. This is 8.5. Okay. So this is my pattern so far. I'm going to cut out the pattern before I mark my neckline. Okay. This is my dress pattern. And I'm not adding any allowance because I've explained that this is going to be really tight. And I'm using a stretchy fabric. So I'll come to the neckline. I'll mark my neck depth. Um, for this particular um, dress, I'm going to be making a round neck, just a very tight round neck. Um, not, um, it's not going to be um, a turtleneck. I think for the other one, the brown color will be doing turtleneck. So I'm just going to use three inches for the for the depth okay this is the neck depth so I'll connect the neck depth to the neck width three inches I have gone ahead to place the front pattern on a new pattern okay front pattern right and this is for the back so i'm placing the front on the back so what we're going to do is um adjust the armhole adjust the neckline and that is it okay the front and the back is just basically the same thing because this fabric stretches i don't need zip allowance okay so because it stretches i don't need zip allowance and i'm just going to adjust the back armhole and the back neckline on the new pattern and we're good so i'm just going to extend that line you can see my tape on the high shoulder okay the high, high shoulder on the front pattern I'm extending it as a straight line so I can mark my neck from there. Okay, so this is the neck, the high neck. Now I can mark my one inch down for the back neckline and connect it to this point. So that's the neckline for the back. I'm using one inch. Now, if there is any, in any reason we need to open up the neck more, we're going to do that once we're done joining, okay? So do not panic. Do not say, is three inches not too small? Is one inch not too small? No. <laughs> We're going to be adjusting when we sew and we'll try and confirm if the neck works for us. Okay. If it works for me, I'm going to confirm first before I cut. Okay. So this is my back neckline, right? Now we're going to move to the shoulder. Um, On the this point here see the point is still showing where i came in by 0 0.75 i'm going to come out by um 0 0.25 inch 
okay so from that point i'm coming by coming out by 0 0.25 inch that's from the middle line that we're using connecting for the back for the front armhole see the 0 0.75 i came out on that line i placed my tape and i marked 0 0.25 inch in and this place here is what i'll use to connect to the slope here and i'll be using my curve to connect it to this point okay we just adjusted the back armhole from the front okay so now we can connect every other thing we can just trace every other thing out okay Instead of tracing, you can just go ahead and cut. I don't know why I went through that stress. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to cut a big. So here is the back. And let's go ahead and cut this on the fabric. 